Local 4 News starts now with a breaking news alert. Breaking news. The suspected Oxford High School shooter is expected to plead guilty to all 24 charges. That decision being shared with the victims' families this afternoon. Our Karen Drew, who has been on the story since the very beginning, joins us live from Pontiac with more on what this all means and why a guilty plea in this case would really be historic. Karen. It, it really would be historic, Christy. All eyes really all around the country right now in Pontiac right now as this news is just breaking. It came into our newsroom. We heard it just a short time ago. This is what we found out, that Ethan Crumbly is expected to plead guilty to 24 counts. Now, that's important in this case because one of those counts is a terrorism charge. And I have to say, that has never occurred. There has never been a school shooter who has been charged with terrorism. So this is very, very critical in terms of taking a look at how school shooters are treated in cases like this. Now, we did hear that there was a, a request to have, be in court on Monday at 8.30. That is when word got to the Oakland County Prosecutor's Office, Assistant Chief Prosecutor David Williams. He confirms to me that, yes, that is the plan, that Ethan Crumbly will show up in court Monday at 8.30 as he is being charged as an adult and will plead guilty to those 24 counts. Now, the big question, obviously, is, is reaction right now. Uh, we've been talking to parents, obviously, all along. Andrea Jones joins me right now. She is a parent of, a, of an Oxford senior. Um, we contacted you right when I got this. I shot, shot you that text and let you knew exactly what was happening. What, did you, what was your reaction for this expected plea? Um, it's relief. I hope that, that this moves forward and he does plead guilty and we can avoid a trial. Yeah, I know a lot of parents, obviously, it's just been very hard to watch week by week and month by month. Your son, Griffin, um, he has been vocal. You, I know you said you called him after you got the news. What was his reaction? He's a senior at Oxford, huh? Uh, again, he, he's glad to not have a trial if this moves forward. Um, having to relive this for all of the victims um, through a trial and having it drawn out for possibly years um, is not the best case scenario. So if we can get him to come in and plead guilty, we, we can get some closure. I know you, um, you and Lori run that Facebook page in terms of Oxford parents. What is the feeling this afternoon generically or amongst all the people? Because I know everyone's calling and texting. Um, until it happens and it's official, um, you know, we just want to see it done. We want the answers. We want justice. Andrea, we appreciate your time. I know we talked with you earlier this week. So thank you very much for your time. But obviously, um, major news coming out of Pontiac, Christy. And as we said, it, this is this could be a landmark decision if he does plead guilty, and especially to that terrorism charge. Absolutely. We've all been watching this, Karen. But can you give us an idea? Why do you think that this plea is, is coming now? You know, and that is a big question. You know, we don't have anything on the record, but I can say, you know, um, if you are an adult and you are found guilty on this terrorism charge, that's a mandatory life. He is a juvenile. So there is that wiggle room. I was talking with a couple legal experts on this, and they said basically maybe there is a chance that, you know, the sentence would be maybe a little bit lighter. I mean, there's a little bit of speculation on that. We, we may know more come Monday. Um, we don't know. Um, I'm busy. I've got a couple other calls to some other folks in the legal community kind of giving me a little bit more of the inside scoop. I'll share that when we get that tonight at 5 and at 6. And we are all over here in Pontiac and Oxford getting reactions, so make sure to stay tuned. Yeah, I'll we send know. it back to you in the studio. Yeah, Christine. we know you'll keep working on the story. Thanks so much, Karen. Yeah. All right, more breaking news this time out of Washington, where the January 6th committee has.